Hey there YouTube fans, AC Productions here and today we're going to be taking the R3 to the dyno and the reason for the dyno is because we're actually going to be finally using this octane booster. Well, age old question is, is that will this octane booster actually increase horsepower? It says on here restores and improves horsepower. Well, we're going to actually go to the dyno and check out and see if it really does what it says. Hey there YouTube fans, EC Productions here and like I was saying before, we're on our way to the dyno at my local motorcycle shop. So they have the dyno machine uh, over there today and that's where we're headed. So it should be a good time. I'm really interested on to see the performance of my bike. It's have been, I would say, three years or so since I put my bike on the dyno. So I'm curious to see how the stats are going to be uh, now three years later <clears throat> so we should be arriving soon I think it's right up above this hill yeah it should be right over here so in this video I'll be showing you the the stats of how it, the horsepower is going to be before we put that uh, fuel octane booster and then we'll after we put the octane booster we'll, we'll put in uh, and then we'll put it back on the dyno and then see what the stats are so here we are we're already here at the uh, top gear power sports if you are in the illinois area make sure you guys check them out and uh, as you can see they got plenty of bikes and stuff here all right so what we're going to do is we're going to check in I'm doing all right uh, you're going to be on youtube so here's uh, the lovely ladies of top gear power sports so if you guys happen to be in, in the area check them out so let's go ahead and uh let's check in and then uh we'll take it from there Alrighty guys, we are all set. We are already checked in. Now we're going to take the bike over to the back and then put it onto the dyno. So what's going to be going on right now is we are going to go put it on the dyno. We're going to put it for two runs. Once we're done with the two runs, we're going to go ahead and add the fuel additive. Go around the block a few times, let the additive work into the system. Come back here and do another two runs and see if there's any horsepower gains of any kind. Alright, so now let's uh, go towards the back and uh, kind of get around these people here. All right, so let's uh, head towards the back and uh, get this uh, R3 onto the dyno. So here they are, they are actually uh, doing a uh, check just to make sure that everything's good on the bike before they throw it onto the dyno because they don't want to uh, put the bike on the dyno and all of a sudden things are falling apart. Alright, so now we're going to throw it up on the machine. Here is the stats, they are in. If you see on the red line, I did 37.62 horsepower at the first run, and on the second run, I did a little bit more at 38.22. So as you can see, after all those years, uh, still, it's still performing at its uh, good peak performance. All right, so now let's get out there, let's go add that fuel additive, drive it around, and then come back and see if there's any performance gain. Alright guys, so that is very interesting that we were able to kind of stay the same at where we were. Now mind you that this is a performance gain just because I do have a full race exhaust, a BMC air filter, and a power commander. 
Now, if you have your still stock system, you may not get this horsepower. Your horsepower will be around the 32 horsepower range. All right, so now let's uh, get going. Let's get out of the parking lot. Let's go somewhere else so we can kind of uh, fill up the fuel additive into the gas tank. And then uh, come back and do another uh, dyno uh, test. So now I want to show you right now is to show you how much gas I have in the tank. So let's go ahead and turn that on. And as you can see, I got two bars. So I think by adding the fuel additive, it'll mix in with the fuel pretty quickly. So <clears throat> we won't have to drive around for that long. All right, so let's go ahead and um, get that fuel additive in there. Take the key out, just pop this in there and get this. All right, so at this point, I wanted to show you guys the box, which is right over here. And this is what we're gonna be adding, the NAS Octane Booster stores and improves horsepower with nitromethane yeah 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 all this mumbo jumbo advertising crap we'll soon find out if this is for real and if it actually does improve horsepower now i'm gonna put this as a, a non this is gonna be a non-edited video right here as you can see i have never opened it up i've never tampered it as you can see it's still kind of sealed here so i'm not going to be editing this part so you guys could see that i'm not messing around and filling this stuff with nothing or whatever i did see other videos because i wanted to see if anybody else had done this and they looks like they're putting this stuff in but really they just show this and then they show the tank and then they say oh wow look at all this horsepower well not in my video guys all right so it's gonna be kind of hard for me to do this all with one hand i'll try to do my best see if i can kind of just rip it out of here all right there we go just rip it again sorry guys for doing this with one hand but like i said this is going to be unedited uncut video of me putting the stuff into my gas tank all right so here it is here is the octane booster uh go ahead and uh, put this to the side i'm gonna keep my camera here so you can see that i'm not tampering with it inside the package it looks like there's some kind of nozzle I think to help you put the octane booster into the gas tank. Yep, that's what it is. All right, so up oh, and there and there goes the box. All right, well who cares? <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead. It doesn't look like it's a thread on. Oh, it is a thread on kind. There's a small thread, and uh, as you can see, there is a seal on it. Now before we do that, let me uh, actually open my gas tank. Make sure that this is not going to fall all the way inside okay it doesn't seem like it will okay all right so let's go ahead and let me see if i if there's like a you know how when you open up a, a, a juice container and it has that little click sound let's see if this uh, container does have the same thing because it does say close tightly and then it says while pushing down turn all right so let me see if i can switch hands here and do it with my other hand and let's see if we can get uh, this thing open or maybe I should put the camera on my gas tank and then you guys could see me do this stuff. So let me close up my gas tank. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. All right, so I'm having trouble closing my gas tank. All right, this is not working out like I'm thinking that it's gonna work out. So I guess I'll put my camera here. So you can see that I'm trying to close my gas tank. There we go. I'll put the key right back over here and then I'll turn the camera around so you guys can see that the and hopefully the camera does not slide off of the gas tank all right so let's see all right so let's see if there's a, like a click or something I don't know if the camera can get this I don't know if that was a click or not gotta push down and turn uh, I didn't hear any click or anything so oh but it is sealed there you go there's a seal right there that's a good thing so I didn't hear no click or anything all right so it is sealed that's a good thing as you can see I didn't add no nothing to it so it's a completely sealed thing uh, I'm gonna need to find something to uh, open it and I guess I'll just use the key all right so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, break the seal There we go and break this seal open and then I guess I'll put my key off to the side for now 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the funnel and then uh, twist on the funnel all right it is twisted on and uh, actually I'm curious to see how the stuff smells it actually just I don't know it has a weird smell to it it doesn't uh, it's hard to explain all right anyway enough of that let's uh, get the stuff into the gas tank I'm not gonna pour the whole entire thing but this because this is made for I think it said 16 gallons and our tanks are only three so I'm just gonna put a little bit in there and then uh, take it for a ride and then we'll go back onto the dyno and then see if there's actually any horsepower gain all right so as you can see, I'm still holding it, and I guess I will, well, hopefully it doesn't spill. This would suck. All right, see so if I can grab the key. Actually, let me uh, flip this thing open. There we go. Grab the key. Let's see, hopefully the wind doesn't blow too hard, and nothing spills. Oh, there we go. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's go ahead and uh, put this into our gas tank and hope for the best. And I really hope it doesn't explode on a dyno. All right, so here we go. I would say that's good enough. I think that's pretty much half the container. I know I probably did it over over, over too much. Um, so we'll see, it's uh, 12 ounces. So I just finished putting six ounces in there. And let's go ahead and close it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this onto the floor because I don't want it to spill. All right, there. All right, so it's already in there. All right, so now let's go drive it around for a mile or so. And then we'll take it back to the dyno and see if there's any real horsepower gain from adding the stuff now like i said i didn't add the whole entire container because it is for uh i believe uh 16 gallons let me see what the box says now that it's on the floor oh as you can see right there it says well let me put this on the floor right there uh let's see this disposal bottle and oh right here it says empty the bottle and to at least 16 gallon of gasoline. So I don't have 16 gallons, we only got three. I think maybe four if we're pushing it. So I only put, I think around six to, I don't know, probably like th between three to six ounces I put. I still feel there's a lot in here. And uh, we'll just take it from there. All right, so let me go ahead and close this so you guys can see. Okay, I'm still having trouble, but anyway, <clears throat> you already saw that I had poured the contents of this octane booster into the gas tank. Let's go take it for a spin, and let me see. I'll, I'll let you guys know if I do feel any type of horsepower gain. I doubt it. We'll let the numbers speak on the dyno. All right, actually, guys, you know what? I do feel something. Uh, I feel that uh, the fuel mixture actually getting through the engine because I feel that it's not giving me horsepower. Actually, guys, I feel like it's pulling me back. I really hope that this stuff doesn't mess up my engine. That would really suck. All right, I only, oh, I felt it again. I feel like it's uh, kind of choking a little bit. All right, maybe we'll just go at this light and we'll turn back because I'm really curious now on uh, what it would do on the dyno. So let's just uh, turn around over here and then head on back, throw it on the dyno, and then see uh, any, any, uh, what this thing is actually doing to the motor I mean to the horsepower all right so here we are back at the uh, top gear and as you can see a lot more bikes have showed up I think that the uh, big group is already here all right uh, so let's uh, park it here for now and uh, go inside to let them know that uh, we are here and uh, for us to get uh, into the dyno tube.
All right, moment of truth is about to come up. We're gonna soon see what those numbers are, and uh, if uh, and we'll see. Uh, my heart's kind of racing to to see what the numbers are gonna be, and to see if that stuff was even worth it, or if it would have just been better to do a tune without it. But we'll see. All right, let's go out to the bike and uh, and check it out uh, as soon as I get the printout. So you do see a little bit of performance gain uh, between the two. So again, if you guys want to see side by side, on the left one is before the Octane Booster and on the right side is after the Octane Booster. Uh, so let's uh, go inside and uh, see what they're all about and see what they got. Because they also do sell parts and motorcycles here. So right when you come inside, you can see their little showroom. I think these are not any bikes for sale. I think they're just, you know, uh, kind of a display. This is where it gets exciting and where you see a lot more motorcycles and all these are for sale. As far as I know that these are for sale. Yes, it goes from uh, biggest to smallest. A lot more dirt bikes here. And it just keeps on going and going and going. They have a good array and different style of motorcycles here is for sale. And then when you look on this side, this is where all the helmets are. Like I said, they do sell gear and this is where I buy all my gear. It's from these guys. Very friendly environment, friendly staff, family owned business. You can't go wrong, they'll go above and beyond. Sorry about that guys, I almost pretty much ran out of memory, but we'll make this quick. As you can see, they got lots and lots of stuff here. Just giving you a rundown of the store. It's better for you guys to just come over here. All they also do motorcycle servicing here. As you can see, all of, all of their products. And all of the bikes they got. Here is their website. For additional information on products and services, contact Anthony or Tony. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button. If you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell to make sure you guys are up to date with my latest videos. And also, don't forget to leave your comments below about what you guys think about the Octane Booster. You think it was worth it? Were you guys on edge about the performance and what do you guys think about it? You think... Uh, it was a bad decision to do something like that. I could have ruined my R3 and and it, something bad could have happened to it and who the heck knows what. Uh, leave your comments down below. And if you know anyone else that's looking to possibly do some octane boosting on their motorcycle, share my video. Let them see what the results could be if they were to add octane booster on their bike and the results that performance results that they could possibly gain from it all right guys and thank you for watching